隔年呢 ，Toys 创了一支战队在次级联赛，叫做 DCT， 然后 DCT 的上路就是我。<笑>是说你们有看过这个了吗？欧雷在采访时谈论在 HKE 时期发生的荒唐事迹，我还没看过啦，我们一起看啊。The team you joined, the Hong Kong esports team. If people don't、yeah. know, the cool thing about this team is they had two players from Taipei Assassins, the one that won worlds before. They had Stanley, the top player, and Toys, the middle player. Like when you came to join this team, did you know this aspect? Was this one of the reasons you wanted to join? Why go to LMS? Okay, so there's one also story. So I don't know. When I back to、uh, Korea, I I was just spamming Korea solo queue, and then before I joined KT at the time, I when I play solo queue, there's a God JJ AD carry, <laughs> and then he was the kind of like first、uh, high yellow guy used the what's that the red jungler item, right on Ezreal. He、right. was he was famous, and the people copied, and then. We just like randomly do. I didn't even know this guy was from Taiwan, so I was like, "Oh, wow, this guy's so good. Let's play together." So we duo together, and then when and then when I back from、uh, Brazil, I play solo queue. He randomly messaged me, "Hey, we just like talk, talk, talk," and he said,、hey, "Do you want to join my team?" I was like, "Okay, let's see. Who 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 do you have?" And he said, "Toys and Stanley," and then and then I was like, "Oh, I heard them before." And I Google it. Oh wait, they just won World Championship. Shit, this team is fucking stacked. So I'm going. <laughs> so I join. I join Hong Kong Esports without like you know, worry or shit. Just like, and at that time there was a Kingdom, the Korean, the StarCraft guy. Um, he joined. He was there for the、uh, head coach. Oh so,、right. Okay, there's a there's、right. a Korean. I'll be fine. All, like I,、sure. I'm not alone there. So okay, I'm joined there. So I joined the team. So that's the how I joined. What about?、Uh, get, tell me some thoughts on Stanley and Toys. Who were these guys to you? What were they like as players? I think they they seem like a not trying. Like they seem like not trying, but they are actually good. You know、okay. what I mean? So it's like actually Toys and Stanley made me think that league is actually not about grind. It's about their gift. <laughs> 他是在暗示说 ，Toys 跟史丹利没什么练习吗？不然他怎么会这样讲 ？Like they're actually really talented, two players. They're so talented.、Right. It's like like one time Toys is it's like didn't even play solo queue, didn't even do anything. And then I, I was like, it, I was like really complaining. Like I'm playing, I'm I'm grinding hard. My mid、right. don't even play solo queue,、sure. don't even care. And then what the fuck? And then and then when it's on on stage, he. First, like let like he didn't play Victor for a long time. He picked Victor and he just a one v nine. I was like, oh shit, this guy just fucking talented. Like, okay, because whole reason you playing scream as、uh, solo queue as a pro player is just win on stage, right? But if guy is already got here on stage, I cannot complain. It's like、sure. you want to have mid laner spamming solo queue like twenty per seven and then lose on stage or. No play solo queue, but just win on stage every time. So okay, win stage matters. Okay, and then after that, he he don't play solo queue or he just like watch his stock market to it, like every morning, like archetype, archetype. I'm like, yeah, go for it. I go for it. You're like you gonna give me win? I'm fine. Okay, but for for you, I'm gonna play solo queue to follow the bad path. So yeah, I, I was just accept it. I know what you mean. I, I think because if people don't know in that part of、uh, Asia, also they're very famous in Dota, and I've heard a similar story. Only I've heard that the typical like pro player there is like it, whereas people think of Koreans as like super diligent, like grinders, like the kid doing all his homework. I've heard they are sort of like slackers. Like they'll just be sat there like in a PC band, like a cigarette out their mouth, just like one knee up, like. But they're actually playing, but they're just sort of like just doing it like a slacker, you know. But like just just skills, right? Just play off your skills, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I I think I don't know. It's just. I don't think he's talking about the Korean player. It's like when I actually like start to grinding, it's like I literally like jump into the kind of rank fifty-ish, and after that I got rank one every server, brother, and a like Korea. Right. So it's like at the same time, I also think it's not. It, like apparently I'm grinding, but even though I went to army, I got rank one again. It's just like 
and just fucking talented shit. So it's like, but I don't know. I I'm just like my work ethic is coming from the it's just study hard the moment. So it's like for me, if I don't actually do anything after scream, I feel kind of guilty every day. So right. that just like kind of like drive me to play solo queue. Right. But it's like if someone is actually got here without playing solo queue, then I I have nothing to say. Just yeah, just win on stage. That's fair. Then I'm not gonna complain. Just, just what the bad thing gonna happen is like when you lose on stage and you don't play, you don't show anything else. Then maybe that's the moment I can talk shit. But when when you are doing good on stage, like I have nothing to say. Yeah, it's fine. Just do it for you. Yeah. I have a question about this Hong Kong esports team because if someone goes on like Gamepedia, they look up the results, they're yeah. going to think like, oh, it was a good team, but it wasn't that good. But because you had Toys, who was this legendary player, I actually at the time back used to watch this team. Like it was one of the better teams. Like the only good teams everyone remembers was AHQ, Flash Wolves, and then there was this team, right? And what people yeah. might not remember all is there's a story behind actually why this team like almost could have made it to Worlds, but then didn't. And the story goes, like as you say, when you initially joined God JG, was the AD carry, but then the split afterwards, you've got another Korean, you've got Raisin, he was called. Yeah. And at the time, he was really good, bro. I remember watching these games. He was like carrying a bunch of these games, but then he basically, by mid split, got like banned for account sharing or something crazy, right? And this is like right yeah. before playoffs, right? So did, give me the story. I mean, what happened? Because it sounds like the team was really good, but then this kind of like, this is part of the reason it went bad, right? I'm guessing. Okay. This is actually a fucking big behind story. I think I actually, I was actually. Think about talk about this on my like just like random video I I'm gonna make, but I I was not like able to do it because oh, I was not But okay, today I have nothing to lose, so I'm gonna just say it. Go for it. So when I play with um when I joined our HKE, Toys was doing great, and then me and Gacha J was like top three uh both you, and then Stanley was doing good, and then that time actually people. <laughs> Uh, didn't like our jungler Dinter because he he actually like was not the like high level at the time. So okay. it's like people just like I'll oh, change jungler, change jungler, and then my and then my CEO like randomly messaged me, "Do you think we need to change jungle?" And then I was like, "Oh, I don't, I, I you know." After that Brody shit happened, I was like, "Shit, I, I, I'm not gonna talk about the teammate shit." Right. But I can give you opinion, but I'm not, I'm not the, I'm not gonna decide. So I say, oh, he's struggling, but I, and I say, I can help. And, but it's like, uh, that time Kingdom say, oh, actually we need the one more Korean. We have a one more Joker card import. So that time we, they, uh, we just message, uh, Kingdom message whoever people and they got the Smurf, the jungler from Korea. He came here and then he was actually kind of the same as my KT. The first month, it's like he was not social well. Right. They, he didn't actually talk to people because the language barrier. So it's like he was actually not good individually too. Like if he was like one b nine, just killing everyone it would be fine. But he just individually was not good at the moment and then not socialized. So it's like no one actually vote for him. So he just play like few weeks and then just like back to Korea again. So but it's like that. Thing make a uh, mate Dinter uh get more passion about the game. I think they actually like that was the change moment. So Dinter start to play League of Legends really a lot. He actually spent the game, and then he actually was willing to change. And then you know one really funny quote at the time. My head coach told him just pick fucking J4 EQ flash R your job is that's it you don't need to do anything okay. EQ flash R just fucking die for your team okay. and then he, we, he actually did it and then we just fucking oh, killed everyone because, it was working, right? because you're with his fucking toys and um, fucking sure. record support right. so it's like he right. just EQ flash R EQ flash R and we just win <laughs> so it was so funny but after that um he actually like uh, grind hard and they got so much better as a player, and 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 when our jungle is stabilized, it's like the league team usually when one thing you fix, the other problem come up, right? Because to be to go next level, so at that time, okay, now we have less problem of jungle, and then new problem come up, 
when it comes to team fight, uh, God JJ at the time was play too safe. He was not like there to like like fight and then like let if if like good AD carry is like really edgy, right? Like fight, 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 and then one flash and then go in and then killing yes. everyone. But it's like God JJ was like too passive and then too safe. So it's like. Usually people call like KDA player. Like yes. when you're four people just like fighting like crazy, it's just like stay far away and yes. they're like just chilling there. So it's like I before someone noticed about it, I didn't know. And then I watch replay. Why we are losing this team fight? Like I engage well and our jungle go in together. How? And then watch it. And then he like so many team fights, he was really far away, not even auto, not even auto take range. Like at least you should hit the their front yes. line as AD carry. Yes. But like he was like even hitting the front, so I was like, like what's the point? So I kept g- giving him like feedback, but I was like really like emotional about it because I engage really really hard and then like not always turn into bad. So I it make me look bad. So I was like, okay, if we don't fix this, we go, our team cannot go to our championship. So I was like, kind of like really strongly giving feedback. Hey, Gachi G, please, auto attack, please come, 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 follow, follow, follow. But he, I don't know, it was like, didn't fix it well. So at the time, we actually looking for new aid carry. And then the first option was not Korean. Was not the Korean guy I, I got. It's just like... Um, there was uh, some option, and there, there was a BB, the oh. World Championship. BB oh, the was guy who there. played with toys in them. And the toys. Team, yeah, and, right, then, right. and I was like, hey, points or flavor, just like, please get him. Right. Like, just get him. So, and then he said, okay, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm going to join Scream and then for test. So, B- Bebe joined, uh, not joined yet. He come to test. So, he played in our, in our, the, apartment so we played together and then that time the first opponent in screen was skt the enemy was fucking faker at the time but in scream baby was actually like saying some t- before team fight his best thing was if we fight like this we lose don't fight right or some fight is like oh we can fight right now we're we gonna win like he was really clear about we don't lose uh, beep, 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 we beep, can beep, win beep. here just win every time. So we beat SKT in Scream. I was like, we 100 ping. <laughs> like, we play Korea server. So we have 100 ping and beat SKT. And then I was like, shit, this guy is like world championship sure. talent guy. <laughs> Holy shit, we must get him. We're going to fucking go world championship again. We're going to win again. And, the, and then I, I was like, I was really happy. And then when it comes to uh, like like two weeks later, we play scrim together. We are shitting on everyone with BB, <laughs> and then BB randomly messaged me, Ole, I cannot join. I was like, why, why, what, what's wrong? And then he said, Oh, you're our, our team CEO. Oh, don't give, um, salary for him, like enough salary for him. So he just like, he he just not happy about it. Right. And then, and then. That time I actually have a message. I say I can give you my my salary. Like if you need one k, I'm gonna give you my one k. Like I need you. I don't need money. I please come. Like if you need like whatever money, I just get it from my salary. That's what I actually say on Facebook. And then he say he just get uh, feel like really disrespect. So money is not a thing. So I. Like I really back him. Like please, <laughs> I'm gonna pay for you. Whatever, just please come. But he didn't come. So, because at the moment, for me, money doesn't do shit. So it's just, I just want to win. Sure. But, but it didn't happen. So, but like later, 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 I heard it's like, I don't know if it's true or not, but toys uh, stop him to join. That's what I heard. Right. Not, not 100% yet. Because Toy didn't want our team to succeed to like close the, his contract. Oh, I don't right. know. That's a some later huh? story, but okay. that's one of the story I heard. So it's BB gone. didn't join. So after BB gone, I need to think. It's like, should I just keep going with God JJ or I need to find alternative? 
And uh, I was looking for AD carry anyway, because we already de decided to get new AD carry. And sorry for Gotcha J, but I need to get it for World Championship. So I was uh, looking for AD carry, but every good AD carry was in the team. And then there's one uh, AD carry left, but he's not pro. He was not even willing to be pro. And obviously, he's the yellow boost guy, but. I didn't know he was like doing so much crazy yellow boost, but right. but at least I was like, I'm not sure. 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 As a fucking full time job, he did like so much yellow right. boost. So he joined, but before playoff, like you know, I gave him feedback a lot in Korean, more strong, and then he sometimes cry because I gave him feedback a lot. He cry, and then like I was like, dude, like I I want you to be better, and I want you to be successful as a pro. So I'm giving you feedback. Please accept it. And then I even call his father. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey dad, like I'm, I'm trying to make hey. your son okay. like make him better. <laughs> so please, uh, talk to talk to your son. Like I'm okay. actually want him to be billionaire. I want to be successful. And then I I finished the call and then he talked with his dad and then he started to accept it. So whenever I gave him feedback, he actually accepted so well. So he, for I think first two weeks he played really bad on stage, but after week and. 那是我的错觉吗？我怎么感觉现在听了十六分钟，我感觉欧雷把自己讲的跟圣人一样哎、欸！哒哒哒，哇，他就像是救世主哎、欸！哇操 ！Big and just like shooting on everyone, and then、uh, he was obviously number one AD carry. He's gonna be like MVP, or so, wasn't he? Yeah, he was really good. He, he, he was, yeah, he just like every time like fucking carry hard. So I was like, shit, my team have toys, and they're like number one AD carry. How are you gonna fucking lose? And then. And then I was like, my brain has a fucking flower shit. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to World Championship. And then before playoff, randomly my educator got banned. I'm like, what? And then I don't know. Toys did the some bird bird information shit. It's like oh, some TPA like、oh, whatever. Some, some, something people did it、uh, behind. So our our team just like kind of this similar thing. So TPA. The their mid got banned too, like for two weeks or something. So it's like just like kind of dirty legal legend shit happened. So、okay. like, oh, you banned my player, we gonna ban your player. So it's、okay. just like、okay. fucking dumb shit. And then one time, uh, that was summer split. Uh, the TPA was one win away from the playoff at the time, and then they actually changed the roster. They start to play so well, and then if we. If we lose one game in like intentionally, ah, Zhang Gong beat me in the playoff. TP couldn't make it. So that time the our CEO say, I think TP is so strong. I think we should just let them not. Okay, you should lose on playoff. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, eh, should I? Like if we are but like. If we're better team, we'll be fine. Even though we lost our AD carry,、sure. I think we are. Our team is just good. And then, but she was saying, no, no. I think it just. I think for better chance,、uh, I don't want to bet or something. So I was like, okay, but I'm not gonna just like intentionally throw the game. I I will not. So we end up agree to just pick something that we are not like. If they are like tier list pick. We just pick for not tier pick. So actually, when there are like some other pick, I just pick Gragas instead. That no one actually play. And then Stanley play like I don't know Stanley play Fizz top or something. We just like pick random、okay. shit like a solo queue. But we are just better team, so we just beat MS MSE. So we just beat them. So TPA, uh, TPA could make a playoff. But like I I think there's a YouTube video. We are just like. We just laughing. We just trolling mode. We just laughing, and then、right. we actually the communication at the time it was like、oh, we are just trolling, and then they're just like losing like this, like、right. we are just yeah. And then 
RC was like happy that we we won, but just like it is what it is. We actually we actually pick something else and we just. 哎，刚是翻错还是他讲错？应该是说他们赢了 TBA 还是会进，对不对？就是他们要输 TBA 才没进吧？啊，翻错 ，OK。Just one, so, but, uh, later, Toys used that information to finish his contract because he think he can get more money from other right. other regions. So he just like mean to use that information to like right. he just like talk about it on public and then like my team asked me to do it. But I think because we won, didn't actually matter. But right. he just used the information to crush his contract. So sure. I'm like. OK, fine. And 来，各位，我来补充一下当时 Toys 的文章。刘伟健，我想大家不知道，中共逼我打假赛，在 LMS。抱歉，我不会做下流的事。Toys， 哈哈哈哈哈哈！哇，这边反而是 MSC 投入了大量的。好 ，Toys 笑了。不是，不是，因为刚刚这个可能线上的观众没有听到，但是我们主播还有旁边是个选手是嘛？然后他里面就杀啦杀！我想说，这这在干嘛？在笑什么？这也笑得太开心。M C 投入了很大量的人力，这个强冲击，这里罗夫应该是走不掉了。再一个强不强下来之后 ，M T 体量很危险，同时往前一个线捞还带，再加上一下普攻是收，直接收下这个人头之后，再一个一技能直接往回插下去。哦，感觉这反身的大绝直接刷死雷欧娜。这边反而是，我觉得 Chunks 有一点点太，笑死这三小啊！距离上次直播已经接近两个星期了，我想跟大家说明近况，叭叭叭叭，大家总有一天会知道为什么啊！我真的不能说啊，所以希望你们原谅我。这十几天回到香港，因为事发只能不离而别，生活需要沉淀一下。不过。如无意外，应该不会再看到我在 H K 一这个队伍比赛了。最后 L M S 在世界上的表现真的非常棒，很抱歉离开台湾离开的很急，尽量做好我能力范围内可以做好的事。接下来一些有关于我个人的动向会留在我自己个人的脸书，很感谢你们关心与关注。未来大家想了解的事情会跟大家好好说明清楚的。Toys 补充一点啊，这件事情发生在 S 5的年末嘛，对不对？隔年呢？ Toys 创了一支战队，在次级联赛叫做 DCT， 然后 DCT 的上路就是我。<笑> DCT 的上路就是我。然后那个时候我们的金主啊叫做宝哥，好像是一个很常懂内他的大干爹吧，反正就胖胖的啊，八加九，每天晚上都去金钱豹。有一天呢，他就突然消失了。好像是因为卷款吧，就跑了啊！他这个人呢，他妈的每天说都说要告我，那个时候我他妈压力超大的。详细的呢，你们可以去听《G S M》的，我有讲过这个故事，大家可以去听一下。我可以分享一个 Toys 的事情啊，就那个时候我们是住在台中七期里面一栋非常高的，哎、欸，没有没有啊，对，这个要再往前讲一点。一开始我们是住在一个社区大楼里面，我们大概住了一个月吧。啊，这种社区大楼大家也知道吗？他的隔音不是很好。有一天呢，我下楼去吃饭，发现地上怎么有一摊东西，然后被围起来。啊，我也没有想太多。然后我吃完饭回来之后，宝哥就跟我们说呢，我们要搬家了。啊，为什么要搬家啊？因为楼上人被我们吵到跳了。我没有加水哦，真的是这样。然后我们就搬了。我没有加水，我讲的是真的，只是我有点忘记那栋公寓在哪里。这个，哎，你们知道台中那个秋红谷公园旁边不是有一个大圆摆吗？对不对？就那个大圆摆的对面。的旁边就是我们住的那个社区大楼，我找一下，我找一下，好、哦，看到，看到，看到，你们看这里，这里是大圆摆嘛，对不对？这里是大圆摆，我们住在这里，呃，对，我们住这栋，这栋叫什么名字啊？反正我们就住在这栋啊。啊，那个时间点呢，应该是2016年的3月、4月吧。我们后面搬到哪里？给大家看一下，呃。台中七期，哎、欸，各位，这栋是省电厂大楼。Two thousand years later， 好像是这栋哦。啊，对对对，就是这栋啊，记得了，我记得了，就这栋啊。哎呦，找到了，靠腰啊，好怀念哦，干，就这栋啊。这栋，这栋，这栋
反正各位就是在动啦、啊。啊，我要讲的故事是这样子，那个时候 Toys 的女朋友是那个香港的 model 吧，忘记叫啥了啊。反正我们就住在同一层，一层有四间，他跟他女朋友住一间，我们选手们住一间。那有一次晚上呢，反正那天啊，他们不知道为什么吵架了，然后。他女朋友就把他反锁在外面，他就一直狂敲门，要他女朋友把他放进去。就最后他女朋友好像整个晚上都没开门吧，所以他他就跑来我们这边睡。那时候我们就住在这栋啦。啊，如果你们觉得我加水，你们可以哪一天问狗哥。狗哥那个时候是我们的教练，对，狗哥就是你想的那个狗哥，狗急跳墙，你可以去问他。那一栋是新盖的，隔音很好。然后我们是两间呐，不是。房间啊，两户啦，我们去问透一次，好啊，去那个啊，下次监狱里面问一下啊，反正就到这样啦，这个是个小插曲啦。看看为什么会突然跟你们聊到这个啊，我都已经忘记这一栋叫什么名字了、欸。Just it was so fucking crazy shit. It's like and then my jungler randomly, why is that the some some girl randomly come up on in public saying like、oh, I got pregnant by this guy. Oh my god, right? I'm like.、Oh. I'm like I'm like what's fucking going on?、Sure. And then my and then my jungle was like actually losing mentor, and then I'll be like, hey hey dude, this fine. It's like it can be fake or something. But did you actually did it? Like we we're just talking casually. And then even though people say shit about you, I I be your side. Don't worry. Ah, 狗哥有嘴过我吗？有啊。啊，狗哥就是叫我把固定视角改成非固定视角的人呢、啊。Like let's focus on our, our game. So I actually like you know comfort him. Uh, because that's what matter for the team, but so many drama shit going、sure. on. And then my head coach after spring had、uh, some argument with a、uh, team and toys, and then my head coach just randomly get kicked, and so it's like I lost my one Korean guy head coach, and then I got the Korean carry. It's just fucking messy. It、oh, was messy,、like、messy as fuck.